Six words change Matthew's life. At work. <laughs> this person owed back taxes. Six words changed his life. Jesus walks up to a tax collector booth while a man, a grown man, is at work and says, follow me and be my disciple. This is what's stellar to me. Matthew doesn't say, who are you? Sir, I'm at work. If you would like to talk about this discipleship opportunity on my lunch break, <laughs> I have 90 more minutes, and then we can chat. Matthew knew he was sick, and there had never been an invitation that made him feel better until this one. Is there anybody besides me that can honestly say that you've been invited to some stuff, but it wasn't until you were invited into the presence of God that things really started to change in your life? Nothing changed externally, but something started to change internally. The thing that blows my mind about Matthew's story of discipleship is that he didn't even make a response to Jesus, he just says nothing and leaves work. He didn't say, I quit. I'm sick of y'all anyway. He didn't go tell off the manager. He gets six words and he just leaves. Jesus walks to his test collector booth. He says, follow me and be my disciple. And Matthew just... I don't know about you, but, 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 but I'm looking for people who will leave everything to follow Jesus. That there is nothing you are so tied to that if you hear his voice, you wouldn't walk away from it at the drop of a dime. I'm looking for some people that say, I don't just want to be a believer in Jesus Christ. I want to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. And when you call, I will follow. 